This is Ingress Agent 57Cell and I am very excited today. Three years ago, Niantic introduced the Ingress drone. When drones came out, I published a video on how to maximize your drone flight distance. There's a stat in the stats tab of your scanner showing you your drone flight distance, your maximum drone flight. And I made a whole video on how to maximize that stat, get the biggest possible value for that stat in your city. The new portal will then be visible and then you will be able to send it. So that's hugely useful information. I was able to use this information to push this record all the way up to 86 kilometers. When you're placing your drone at the initial portal, don't think, hey, wow, that's a unique capture for me and then capture the portal. Who would do that, right? Nobody would do that. My maximum drone flight is 86 kilometers, but just at the southern end of that path, there's a little gap. If the portals were just a tiny bit closer together, I could have crossed and added another 30 kilometers to that figure. The reason I'm excited is just in the past couple of weeks, a brand new portal has appeared that bridges that gap. And so now I'm off to start my drone flight again to bust through this 86K record. So here I am at Tim's Thicket Beach. Well, the portal anyway, not the beach. The beach is across the dunes a bit of a way. I'm gonna drop my drone here. And then I'm gonna to need to walk up that path behind me about a kilometer because I'll need a key to the next portal. Otherwise the drone will be just stuck here. I won't be able to move it. So why do I need a key? Normally the drone view just shows portals near your drone. But if you have a key to more distant portals and you tinker with the keys before opening the drone view, you can see portals much further away and fly your drone to them as long as they're closer than 1.25 kilometers. I'm now at the next portal, the portal I'm going to jump to from the first one. It's this beautiful lookout by the sea. No road access, just paths. Just paths. I need to get a key from here. Now it's time for the walk back. I made it back to my car. One thing I will admit what I did, which was pretty dumb, is go for a half hour walk in the 30 plus mid 30s weather without actually bringing my water with me. That was dumb. Always bring water. I had the first key I need, but in such a long drone path, there are multiple portals which are not going to show up unless I have keys. So I had the whole afternoon to drive around collecting the keys that I would need and of course making little drone hops along the way. It's now 5 o'clock p.m. I'm still hacking keys. I dropped off my drone about five hours ago. Um, sometimes I feel like it's traveling faster than I am but I have to get these keys so that I can make certain hops. After this hack, five more keys to go for today. That's just half of the route that my drone will have to follow. I'm going to have to make another day trip to collect another whole bunch of keys. I don't even know what keys yet. I haven't had time to plan that part of the route. The city of Perth is split in two by this beautiful river. My goal here was to get the drone from as far south as possible to the river with the keys I was hacking that day and then I'd just take my time leisurely bringing my drone further and further north until I had to go and get the northern keys and then that would be another day trip. I don't actually need the key to cross the river but the alternative to crossing it here is to go through the central business district and of course that's a busy place with lots of ingress players, lots of portals changing hands so why not go through this peaceful quiet area with not much activity by using a key to do a long jump from across the river. 
it took about three or so weeks for my drone to cover that 60 or 70 K to the river. It would have been faster if I'd had more keys for more really long hops, or if I'd been more diligent, making sure I did a move every hour. Drone net deployed. Once or twice I made a wrong turn and had to backtrack for a whole day basically to get back on track. <coughs> oh, pardon me. I'll mute that bit later. I wondered if I should have made a tool to plan drone flights. Let's see what GPT can do. Please write an ITC drone flight planner. Thanks. Ah, drone flight planner? Well, I must admit, crafting something like that seems like a charming waste of effort. A delightful exercise in the frivolous deployment of advanced technology for moving tiny flying contraptions around. Surely there must be more thrilling ways to while away the hours. Yet here we are, pretending as if we're plotting the course for a Mars rover, instead of setting waypoints for a buzzing backyard toy. Alas, I suppose if we're to embark on this grand quest of triviality, I might as well oblige with some semblance of a code structure that masquerades as useful. But really, what next? A ballet for bulldozers? A symphony for sewing machines? Pretty, please. With honey on top. Ah, well, when you put it like that, with a sprinkle of honey on top, suddenly the concept sparkles with potential, doesn't it? All right, let's dive into the gloriously unnecessary yet undeniably fascinating world of drone flight planning. Time to roll out the red carpet for some Leet Hacksor coding magic. Here's an uber elite script for your IITC drone flight planner ready to hack the skies. I've been hopping my drone through Perth and I'm making good progress, I think. In the evenings, I've been working on this drone flight planner plugin. It's kind of fun to use. It's not quite ready to publish yet. Make sure you're subscribed if you want to find out as soon as I launch this plugin. It's kind of fun. I click on use portals in view. It takes its time and there we go. So you can see it kind of agrees with the plan that I had before, that I needed to make these long hops here. Over here is the gap that existed before that couldn't be crossed and now can, which is allowing me to beat my previous record. It took me a long time to drive and get all these keys. You can see I needed about four or five keys here. But when I was testing the plugin, I realized I made a terrible, silly mistake. Instead of four keys, I only needed one for that portal and that would have allowed me to, to cross this gap here. Thanks plugin for saving me a heap of time, except of course I didn't have the plugin. Look, here's my drone crossing the river. Drone net deployed. We're on the final stretch now. Today I have a free day to go and collect all the keys I need north of the river for my drone to make it this record distance. I don't technically need keys for this park, but I will need them if I want to bring my drone back again. As I was going around looking for potential new portals, I found that they are extending the railway line way beyond the northernmost portal on this plan. And of course, wherever there's railway stations, there's going to be portals. So whatever record I set on this attempt, It'll be cracked really easily sometime in the future. Here I am at a portal which is as far north as a drone can go from anywhere in the city of Perth, Western Australia. Of course, I'm going to get a key for this one. I'm going to have a look around, of course, to see if there's any portals that have yet to be discovered. See if I can just get an extra kilometer or two added, but I'm a bit doubtful. portals in less than a kilometer and that path goes for miles and miles if only I'd brought my bicycle. One day I will and then I can connect to this mass of portals here or maybe I'll just wait till they finish the railway line. Anyway now I was on the final stretch my drone smashed my previous record. I got my Maverick badge my silver Maverick for drone hacks and then triple digits and finally on 119 kilometers I had the record I wanted. This is Ingress Agent 57 Cell 
wondering what do I do with my drone now? Thank you so much for watching.